so uh, hi through this video uh, we are going to look at the day to day problems and how we can come up with uh, systems to solve those problems for example i remember uh, some years back uh, i had gone out of my home and there were plants uh, which needed watering but uh, I did not have a solution to this, so I, I was just wondering if only I had a system which could take care of my plants when I am away from home. Sometimes when I go out of my home, there are elderly people who are not able to communicate with me. So I just thought like if again there was a system which could communicate on their behalf and tell me about the well-being of the people. I am sure such incidences or such uh, things happen to many people around us day to day and we feel that there should be some systems or some help uh, from electronics uh, systems that we can use in order to solve these problems. Then as a teacher, uh, I interact with so many students every day and then they have some wonderful ideas which they wish to implement but again they are not having that much of knowledge to implement those or maybe uh, they are not aware of what are the things that are available by which they can implement th their ideas at the same time i also interact with students who are in their final years or they want they again they have some great ideas through which they want to have their own startup. So basically some idea which you want to implement but you are not aware of how to implement that. In technical terms we call this as a prototype. So we want to build a prototype but we want to do it fast, we want to do it uh, at a very low cost so that we are not spending too much on it. And at the same time, that idea is getting converted into the solution which we require for us. Now, when you are building any system, any such system which is going to solve a particular problem, electronic system, the at the heart of any system, not only electronic, if you look at our bodies, the system that is controlling the entire functioning of our body, is the brain right so when we say that the brain brain is controlling our actions and we are doing certain actions according to what we require that system we call it as an intelligent system so similarly in electronic systems as well there are there is an intelligent part or a device which will be controlling all the other components and other devices in that particular system. Now who does this function of the intelligent system? So that is in electronic terms it is a microprocessor or a microcontroller. Now there are so many varieties of these intelligent systems available. For example if you just google microprocessor the word microprocessor you will get three crore hits within some seconds. At the same time, if you Google microcontroller, you will get 10 lakh, uh, sorry, 10 crores of hits within seconds. So how do you decide which microcontroller or which microprocessor should I use for prototyping or for building or implementing the idea that I want to implement? So don't worry, uh, there is a better and a simpler solution to for your problem. And that is using the system or the board which is known as the Arduino board. Now this Arduino board has become very very popular very and so many people not all over the world are using these boards. Now what, why do we use these Arduino boards? The first and the most important reason is that it is an open source hardware. I mean you don't have when you are buying the Arduino board you don't have to pay any license fee for that. So you can come up with your system at a very low cost. At the same time, it is very, very easy to write the coding for that uh, particular board. 
if you consider say other microcontrollers naturally you have to learn you have to go through the entire process of learning the programming part of that and it's not very easy but this arduino boards it is very easy to program the board so software part is taken care of at the same time when you consider the hardware of the arduino board the people at the arduino they have developed this board so that it can be used even by a hobbyist even by a person who is or even by school children by a person who has no knowledge no abc of electronic systems so it is as easy as that at the same time they are available in many versions from low end to the high end so all your requirements are taken care of and they are easily available all throughout in the market so i if i want to buy a arduino board just you know i can get it online or i can go to a hardware shop and it is available there so these are the advantages again when you are writing the code for the arduino board naturally we are going to use either a desktop or a laptop for writing the code and we use what is called as a uh, development environment now this development environment of the arduino for that you don't need a particular operating system in your desktop or laptop for example for some uh, environments you need you need to have a windows in your laptop for some you need to have some other systems but here for the arduino you may use it is we call it as a cross platform that is you can have any operating system and you can write the code for the arduino so it has the advantage of being uh, easy on the software part as well as easy on uh, e easy and fast on the hardware implementation as well so these are the some of the advantages that arduino board have and so what we recommend or what i would suggest that if you are a hobbyist if you are a school goer you want to have build cert some system you have some fantastic idea and you want to implement that idea in a very you know less time and inexpensive way at the same time if you are a student who want to implement maybe a engineering student as well if you want to implement your idea faster cheaper and you don't want to spend too much time writing the code and you are maybe some people you know they when it comes to electronic systems or even when we say that these are also called as embedded systems students are you know wary of that they feel that no i i am not able to do that they they don't have confidence of because they say that i am not good at coding but for arduino the coding is so simple that you don't have to be a expert coder in order to write the code for that so you can build your system with the arduino board sim in a very fast way simple way and uh, spending to not much from your pocket so that is the reason why i would suggest you use your use the arduino board and another advantage is that the software as well as the hardware now for example if you are saying that you are you want to have your own prototype you want to have your own startup then it's uh, if even if you use the arduino board it is open source you can use the hardware and you can make changes in the hardware as well as the software part and implement your system so it's something like you know a solution not only at a lower level it's for i would say it's a solution that can be used for at all the levels but at the same time yes i would also say that if you are a uh, for a startup at this uh, proof of concept uh, level using the arduino board is fine if you are a engineering student using this for a you know just implementing your idea is fine but if you want to multiply like for example if you come up this idea works okay you show the proof of concept through the arduino and then you want to build you want to multiply your product you want to you know market your product or you want to come up with your own solution then i would recommend that for prototyping you use the arduino and then using your knowledge you can build your own system using the microcontrollers or the microprocessors available design your own system there are other methods which you can use for example you can simulate it using the online uh, simulations and then you can go for the actual designing and implementing it with the actual hardware so this is what i had to say about the arduino board so happy arduino boarding thanks